What's up, all my saints and sinners, rockers, and blue-collar folk? I am John, the creative blue-collar guy. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, this is a clip that I pulled from my weekly live stream, Mixtape Mondays, this past Monday, every Monday at 5 p.m. California time. And um, so, yeah, I received a couple records this past week. One was a new release that you'll see in the video we'll get into. One was a, um, a reissue different band, different album. I'll do a separate video for that, but just wanted to kind of do a little bit of a quick intro since we're gonna jump right into the middle of a live stream. But anyways, if you are new here, if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button before you take off. Make sure to like this video, share it out there for others to see, and ring that bell for notifications. Make sure the bell is set to all so that we get notified every time I go live or post a new video. Thanks for being here. So this one, I'm going to do my best to hold this up to the camera while also covering my address from the Defiant. I pre ordered their record. The PO box that's written on there is handwritten by the guy that you see all the way over there on the far left, Joey LaRocca from the Briggs. So, from a, an Instagram post, I noticed that uh, it's either out of his garage or he's rented a small warehouse or something if you order merchandise from these guys it is personally being packaged by one of the guys from the band he, if it's if you're buying a t-shirt a hat uh the record the vinyl um one of the guys from the band is personally packaging up your merch order and you know as i just held up and showed is handwriting on on the box who it's going to what the return address is. So, I mean, I could technically say this is autographed. So, since my second camera didn't work out, we're just gonna figure out how this is gonna work. And I'm gonna open up this bad boy. This I actually got on Saturday, but it arrived after I made my short video about the band. And then, like I said, I had busy weekend, had to get moving, so I had to wait. All right. And even threw in a sticker of his band, Briggs, that says, thank you, Joey. All right. That's pretty cool. I did notice on the website while I was making my video on Saturday that it had a note in there about, you know, let me know in the comments when you're ordering your stuff. If you're a fan of the Briggs, he'll throw in stickers said let me know if you still listen to cds whatever and then also this is probably going to be really hard to show on the camera but a very tiny the defiant button with the artwork on there from i think when they released the song dead language that's the artwork for that one and uh they're talking about possibly making a, a shirt for that which i will probably buy because that's one of the many songs that's kind of like a big middle finger to everything that's been going on the last three years I think uh, Blair to Blair was the one who commented on the video who said a uh, super group of free thinkers, which uh, we don't really get many of anymore because apparently people in the creative world feel like they need to um, pander to all the nonsense. Speaking of pandering, has everyone been hearing about that South Park episode that just came out totally ripping Disney and Kathleen Kennedy specifically? Uh, so there we have it. The Defiant. In that old, old school kind of newsprint comic style called If We're Really Being Honest. Up there at the top it says, equal to the sum of its not inconsiderable parts, Pete Parada, Dickie Barrett, Joey LaRocca, Johnny Ryu. I swear I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's spelled R-I-O-U-X. And Greg Camp, assemble to become the Defiant. And then on the back it's got, you know, the old school x-ray glasses ad. You want to drop your money in an envelope and get yourself some, some good old-fashioned x-ray glasses. So let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. Also, I'm very curious to read the liner notes. Let's see if I can quickly find it while we're doing this video so I don't waste a ton of time. But there is a song on this album that I think may 
or may not feature Tim Armstrong from Rancid, but I cannot be sure. Ah, and Roman, once again, no download card. They're not doing the download cards anymore. So let's see if I can find something in the liner notes here. <laughs> Jason, da, 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 Bart, here, no, it doesn't say. Oh, here we go. Guest appearances. Lots of people with the last name Camp. I'm guessing it's relatives of guitarist Greg Camp, formerly of Smash Mouth. So I guess I was wrong. It does not say Tim Armstrong anywhere on here. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, I messed up. I made a huge mistake in the middle of this live stream opening this record. Uh, I don't know if maybe I was distracted by the chat or just trying to run the live stream and everything, but I was going through this bad boy, as you just saw. And somehow, while I was looking through the liner notes here, I failed to recognize that Al Barr, one of the co-vocalists from the Dropkick Murphys, is featured on a song, as well as Mr. Winston Marshall, who is another individual who's kind of ousted from his own band. Um, he quit kind of on his own accord just to not drag the rest of his band members through the mud. But essentially, Winston Marshall is another case of he said something that the cancel culture mob didn't like, and they came after him, they came after Mumford & Sons, and he said, you know what? He's like, I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to backpedal. I'm not going to be silent. So he just said, I will leave the band so that I am free to think and say and do what I want without damaging uh, the band's reputation. That was his choice. Okay, fine. I'm a little disappointed that the other guys were just sort of like, all right, well, you know, peace out. Thanks for the years of friendship and, you know, brotherhood in the band and everything. And they just sort of, I don't know, moved along. So Winston Marshall, the former banjoist of Mumford & Sons, is featured on this album. It does not say which song. It very well could be multiple songs. I'll have to, I mean, I've already listened through this thing probably a dozen times since it's come out, but... uh I'm going to have to go back and really listen and really try to figure out where that banjo is. Um, there is a very small chance that the banjo he recorded with on this album might be a banjo that I worked on and helped build because of a company that I used to work for. But uh, anyways, I just had to interrupt my own clip from my live stream to say, man, how did I totally miss the fact that, I mean, there were, there were some names on here. Okay, fine, but Al Barr and Winston Marshall, like, how did I miss that? I still think somewhere it sounds like Tim Armstrong is possibly on a song because I think they said they had this mixed and mastered at Tim's arm, Tim Armstrong's studio, but he's not listed in the credits. Anyways, now let's get back to whatever I was saying during the live stream about this record. Let's see here. Which song was it? Like flies. Brad. Get him to cannot pronounce that name. All right. Well, anyways, there's there's more of kind of that old old school newsprint artwork. That over here in the top left cells is the Defiant R. Dicky Barrett vocals, Greg Camp guitar, Joey LaRocca guitar, Pete Parada drums, and Johnny last name I cannot pronounce bass recorded and produced by the defiant additional vocals on the song as one recorded by jason laroca at laroca feller center list of guest appearances and then just all the song titles and lyrics Make sure i open this from the right side and there it is the lime green vinyl which uh even though this is a solid color i appreciate 
that they went with something different. It just adds a little extra character than kind of the classic, you know. Uh, some go with picture discs, some go with kind of a, a, a paint splatter thing. But uh, anything that makes it a little bit different and unique makes it something that's just kind of cool to have in your collection. So this, super stoked. I've already listened to the album many, many, many times over on Spotify. I cannot recommend it enough. There's literally not a bad song on it. Uh, but I will definitely be spinning this record as soon as I am done with this stream. I might have to go buy more beer, though, because this is the last one I got right now. All right, so there you have it. Uh, didn't really, I guess maybe I was just being a little bit lazy. Didn't feel like doing a whole separate unboxing video since I already did it. Actually, like, opened the cardboard box, showed it for the first time, the whole thing, during the live stream. So I just clipped it from the live stream. Wanted to do a little bit of an intro, outro, just to, once again, as always, say thank you so much for being here to my now, I believe, 346 subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And as always, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber, every like, every comment really does help. Even the trolls, even the negative comments, it's all traffic, so I appreciate my haters too. Please like and share this video out there for others to see. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this. Have you listened to the album yet? Were you even aware of this band? Uh, what do you think about the whole thing? And as always, of course, when you're hitting that subscribe button, liking, commenting, all that, please also hit that bell for notifications. Make sure to set to all so you get notified every time I go live and post a new video. I am John, the Creative Blue Collar Guy. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.